Hey guys, we're here in Kelowna, BC. We're going to be putting together a six meter dome today. Uh, we got this 20 foot or six meter pad uh, poured a couple weeks ago. So it's all cured, ready to go. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have all your materials in place, uh, all your piping and your cover and nuts and bolts and check your packing list to uh, start your build. Next thing you're going to want to do is get your base ready, find your main tubes. In this uh, case, it's going to be the sixes and sevens. We have sevens here, sixes here. We're going to lay out our first uh, circle around the base. Once you have your door installed, you're going to take your aluminum side plates that are already cut to length and you're going to want to go around the exterior of the door and then one on top. You pull the canvas tight and then you'll screw it in with your self-tapping screws. Okay, once you got your aluminum pieces installed, what you're going to want to do is take an X-Acto knife and go around the edges and just trim off all the extra PVC cover. Finishing up on the exterior, you're going to want to take the last few leftover aluminum lengths and then use them to make your vents on the exterior. You're going to bend them in a house-like shape and stick them up under the vent. Once you have your dome set up and all complete, uh, you will notice a little bit of wrinklage in the exterior PVC covers because it's been it's thick cover and it's been packaged for so long. Nor if you want to get it smoothed out really fast or kind of iron it out, you can use a Tiger Torch. Uh, I only recommend using this if you're comfortable with using the propane and the Tiger Torch. And you just want to stay about 12 inches away and you can just comb back and forth over the tarp and it will relax the tarp and make it nice and smooth. We've done that already with this patio gazer over here. Prior to using the Tiger Torch, you want to make sure that there's no moisture anywhere on the PVC cover. If there is moisture, you want to wipe it off because if the heat is applied to the PVC and there is water or moisture of any sort on there, it's going to cool down the spot where the moisture is and then everything else is going to change size around it, uh, distorting the cover. So you really want to be careful when you're doing this. 